The View discussed the college admissions cheating scam involving 50 wealthy parents on Wednesday's show. Among the wealthy parents caught were actress Lori Laughlin and her husband fashion designer Massimo Giannulli. During the discussion, Meghan McCain called out Lori Laughlin's husband for dissing Arizona State University because of her family's ties to the school. Later on, Joy Behar and Meghan got into it discussing the policy behind legacy admissions. Not surprisingly, the nationwide college cheating scandal was one of the hot topics on The View Wednesday morning. Also not surprisingly, Joy Behar and Meghan McCain didn't see eye to eye during the discussion. The segment kicked off with Joy claiming that she wasn't at all shocked with reports that 50 wealthy people paid bribes of up to $6.5 million to get their kids into elite colleges. Abby Huntsman agreed, and said she was thrilled that a spotlight was being put on it. Anna Navarro Carnas and Sonny Hostin said they were very angry with the whole thing, with Sonny going as far as to call those involved mediocre for gaming a system that disproportionately advantages you anyway. Then, Meghan McCain called out Aunt Becky's husband. When it was Meghan's time to talk, she took the opportunity to call out Full House actress Lori Loughlin's husband, also known as fashion designer Massimo Giannulli. According to reports, court documents revealed that Lori and her husband agreed to pay bribes totaling $500,000 in exchange for having their two daughters, Olivia Jade, 20, and Isabella Rose, 19, get into the university of Southern California's fake rowing team recruits. In one of the emails from Massimo included in the court documents, he reportedly made it clear that he didn't want his daughter attending Arizona State University. Naturally, this didn't sit well with Megan, as the McCain Institute for International Leadership partners with ASU. I'm very proud to have my family's name attached to ASU, Megan said on the show. It's an incredible, incredible, incredible college and Aunt Becky's husband, whoever the hell you are, I had no idea who you were until yesterday, sorry. Your kid probably wouldn't have been good enough to have even gotten into ASU. Okay, later on, Megan and Joy got into their own separate debate. After Megan got that off her chest, Joy began talking about collegiate legacy status, meaning, your chances of getting into a particular school are better if you have a relative who went there before you. Joy pointed out, which critics have long noted, that legacy admissions are not at all fair. It started in the 20s to keep out upperly mobile immigrants who had started pushing for admission to elite schools, Joy read off her cue card. Why should your kid get in because you got in? That comment didn't go over well with Megan, who has family that goes back generations at the Naval Academy, including her late father and Republican Senator John McCain. When Megan said she thinks military academies should be excused from this criticism, Joy pushed back and, again, wondered why they should be let in if they didn't have the grades. This prompted Megan to say that her relatives did have the grades and declare that she, I wasn't ashamed of the fact that her family's legacy is at the Naval Academy. Joy snapped back that she wasn't talking about Megan's family, but instead pointing out the problem with the policy. Megan, unmoved by Joy's response, then repeated that she was very proud of her family's legacy. By the end of the segment, Megan and Joy still didn't appear to be on the same page. But regardless, everyone did agree that the parents involved definitely deserved to go to be jail. And with that, Joy cut to commercial.